from the lab with Wild Child DNA right here on 66 Raw Radio. Organization. They do a lot for the homeless. 
around the uh, DMV area, actually across the country. We actually just did a break and great event today, earlier today. Melissa Kim and Proverb are the brains behind the operation of Will Rap Food, so shout out to them. And I just love that as an artist, I can come out and find a way to give back and contribute to the community when I get involved with them. So it's always a pleasure for us to work together. We won this two years ago. We lost in the finals last year. So we're working on trying to get that shit back. So What's your strategy? Uh, it's all about intensity and playing hard. We're a little undermanned. We had a couple accidents, a little snafu with our team. Our normal team that everybody was worried about showing up. You know what I mean? But it's okay, because we got some great reserves that got us to lead at halftime. We're going to try to push through. It's all about intensity and focus and, you know, trying to work hard. That's it. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, you can't be doing too bad. You beat my team, you know, Team 6-6. Six, six. You guys beating them 21-10. I mean, it's kind of like a smash. It's I smash just, just a little bit. I just want you to understand that it's nothing personal. I'm just about them W's. I hate L's. I hate taking L's. I understand. Well, it's all for a great cause. You know, Will Rapper, Will Rapper Food. Y'all can follow them and, and uh, check out what they doing. Where, where can we follow them? What's the website? WillRapperFood.org uh, is, is the website. You can check them out anytime. And I, I, not check them out. Check us out. Because it's really about the entire hip-hop community and B&B coming together and doing positive things. So check out WillRapperFood.org. And that's the number four. Oh, with, with a four. Okay, Will Rap for Food with the number four. And on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, how can we find you? It's Will Rap for Food. At Will Rapper Food on all the social medias. Hope I'm not getting that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Will Rapper Food on all, all, all the social media platforms. You can follow me, Lalo202 on Twitter. Lalo Smokes Good on Instagram. I got a new single out right now called Ride With a Stoner. It's everywhere you get music. The video's on Devo. If you don't know who Lalo is, then get your life together. Holla shot, man. Get your life. Hey, and go get tested. Absolutely, that's why we here. Hooping for HIV with the intent to prevent. You just heard it first right there. We'll wrap it through. Your man Lalo, Lalo 202. Um, we're having a blast out here. Unfortunately, Will Rap for Food is beating my team, Team 6-6. Six, six. I don't know what's going on. Let's let's go to the 6-6 six, six bench real quick and see what's happening. Let's go. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me hold up. Hold on. We want to talk to DJ Reed. DJ Reed. going on with the team but you know what we gotta we gotta let them win it wouldn't be fair they don't want to see the hit shot they don't want us to win like LeBron they don't want us to hit threes like Curry they don't want to see it they don't want us to win they don't want you to have a bigger swimming pool than Drake major key yeah.
Dwayne Lawson Brown, and he is the coordinator for this wonderful event. Uh, representing Real Talk DC, Hooping for HIV is the ninth annual basketball tournament. So you've been doing this nine years. We've been doing this for nine years, and we're glad to continue to do this here from Southeast DC, uh, making sure that folks are able to be safe and take care of themselves, but also have a good time, have good music, and win some trophies. Absolutely, trophies. I mean, who doesn't want something to put up, you know, to say, I, I did that, you know, I did that. Well, talk to me about how you got involved in uh, uh, HIV awareness. Well, a long time ago, uh, I became a peer educator uh, for an organization, and now we get the chance to bring on new peer educators. So folks between the ages of 13 and 24 who are interested in speaking to their peers and teaching about HIV, why it's important to protect themselves and to support their friends who may be living with HIV, we're welcoming anybody on. Absolutely. Is there any um, information that you would like to share with our listeners as well as the people here in regards to... Um, uh, statistics on HIV. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, first things first, HIV does not discriminate. I want folks to know that. It doesn't matter your age, your race, uh, your class. If you are a human, you are susceptible, and we want to make sure that you're taking care of yourselves. Okay, how can we do that? How can we take care of ourselves? First things first, knowing your status. Uh, second, protecting yourself, whether it be prep, uh, abstinence, using condoms, whatever it may be, uh, placing some type of barrier and watching out for the blue. Alright, cool. So we have a bunch of uh, information out here on the tables. We done fed the people, you know, done fed the people. Food was good, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm full, I'm satisfied. If you are looking for Real Talk DC, you can find us on Twitter, at Real Talk DC, on Instagram, at Real Talk DC underscore, and check out the overall website, WhitmanWalkerHealth.org. Whitman, Whitman Walker Health. Whitman Walker Health. Whitman Walker Health. Alright, well, thank you so much. No, yeah, hug, let's bring it in and hug it out. You know what I'm saying? It's a wonderful, wonderful event. Great cause. Hooping for HIV. HIV awareness with the intent. I think I'm going to call it. You know, it's like a good stuff. You know?